because I saw my cardiologist today and well actually I saw my cardiologist um, physician's assistant okay this is what happened and uh, I don't know if I should be pissed well I just don't know I, I'm, I'm having a hard time processing everything that happened in, in the doctor's office today um, I will say this we we were arguing th th this lady is the rudest person I've ever I thought my RA doctor was a bitch this this lady takes the cake okay well uh, the first thing we talked about was um, I haven't been having any heart issues uh, my heart feels fine it hasn't I haven't had any pain or anything like that but I was honest and told her that I was ha I've been having you know like kind of breathless um, experiences but it wasn't just sitting down and getting breathless it's because you know like if I do activity and that contributes to being a fat ass and I told her that I said well I think it's just you know because I'm fat and I need to lose weight and she agreed <laughs> well she partially agreed but she ordered some blood work done uh, because she wanted to check a hormone a certain hormone I don't know what the hell hormone she's talking about but she said that it will tell her if there is anything going on wrong with my heart. This certain hormone, uh, it's something to do with, uh, produces a certain hormone in your heart. And so anyway, so I went and had blood drawn and, you know, I am one of the hardest people to stick. So she ends up, not her, but the lab, I ended up taking it from the back of my hand with a pediatric needle thank god because the pediatric needle is the tiny tiniest and actually when i was in the hospital june 2nd they used the pediatric iv needle that's how screwed up my veins are <laughs> okay so anyway uh, this is what i'm having a very hard time processing Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I'm scared to do anything. So I'm just going to lay it out and let you all know what she told me. Okay, well, I told her that I was on the ketogenic diet. Now let me tell you something. She, from that point on, she treated me like I was a little baby, like naughty, naughty, naughty. Uh, that was fucking irritating for one. <laughs> but she said, are you kidding me? She goes, you're okay. So let me get this right. Let me get this straight. You had a heart attack and you're eating, you're eating a keto diet, which is high in saturated fat and uh, low carb no grains no uh, legumes which is beans and all that good stuff so it's basically plant-based and high uh, some plants and high saturated fat high fatty meats and whole fat dairy and I said yeah and you know she was kind of scaring me but she was pissing me off at the same time i said yeah now here's what she said that pissed me off she said well no wonder you're so fat wrong thing for any doctor to say i don't give a shit i know okay i will call myself a fat ass but my doctor better not be calling me a fat ass Okay, I gotta calm down because that pissed me off. <laughs> that pissed me off. Now, if she would have, from that point on, if she would have said something nicer or in a nicer way, we wouldn't have butted heads. But from that point on, we butted heads, all right. <clears throat> so, uh, 
So, I informed her that I was on the keto a year ago for eight months and that I cured, I was cured of diabetes, that she could check my records, my medical records, which are all connected to the same clinic, okay, and that diabetes, type 2 diabetes is, is off my list of diseases, is gone. I am considered, no, I'm not diabetic. I'm on 500 milligrams a day of metformin only, only as a preventative, uh, so I won't cross over to that again. Okay, so the conversation after that went like this. She says, you got to eat whole grains, um, margarine, not butter, low fat, low fat uh, dairy, very minimum amount of cheese, um, and if it is, it's going to be low fat or fat free. And I stopped her and I said, hold on a minute. For one thing, the, the cheeses that I eat are about 99% uh, skim, made of skim milk. So it was low fat anyway. Mozzarella skim made of skim milk. So, okay. But I told her that uh, my diet uh, had uh, full fat cream cheese. She said, oh, no, 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 no. Um, okay. <laughs> Now, she's telling me, no bacon. You can't have no bacon. You can't have any meat that has any kind of fat on it. No saturated fat at all. You buy lean meat, skinless meat, uh, no, fat, uh, no saturated fat, no bacon. That means no bacon, no sausage, um, none of that stuff. Okay. Now... Uh, okay, now, the keto diet, you know, when I first got on it a year ago, I had to wrap my head around it because, uh, and most people do have to wrap their head around it because that's a lot of fat. You're on a lot of fat when you're on this diet, saturated fat, which they tell you is good for you. Well, okay, I'm coming back, I'm coming back to that. So... We we were going on we were going back and forth about my diet and um, I told her uh, I said listen for one thing I said quit talking to me like I'm an idiot or a kid I'm a uh, you know if if you do if you uh, if you tell me not to do something I'm gonna do it so don't tell me not don't tell me I can't do something. But if there, if you, if you have a reason, if there's a good reason that you're telling me this, don't yell at me and say, basically tell me I'm stupid for doing this. No, that's not, uh, that's not going to uh, get through to me. Okay, let me get, let me tell you. So I said, <clears throat> you, you tell me what's so special about the American Heart Association diet, which I have thoroughly, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly, um, what do you call it? Damn it. I'm thoroughly acquainted with. I'm also thoroughly acquainted with the diabetic, diabetic diet. Okay. So she's naming off all this food that I should be eating like potatoes and pasta in, in moderation and bread, whole grain bread. And I'm, I stopped her. I said, do you... Do you believe that uh, carbs are addictive? And she says, oh, yes, they can be very addictive. I said, well, everything you just mentioned is high in carb. I cannot eat <clears throat> high-carb foods. Not only is it addictive, it's fattening. It makes me get fat, okay? And I'm diabetic, and it raises my blood sugar. So she goes, well, I thought you weren't diabetic anymore. Mm. I said, I'm not diabetic. Maybe that's because I don't eat high carbs. You ever think of that? So she got real quiet and I said, look, 
I don't I don't want to have another heart attack. I don't want I, that is not my intention. I am trying to do what's healthy for me. You're telling me to go back to eating the foods that basically hurt me. And uh, now when I left the office, okay, okay, I uh, I didn't take my uh, cardio physical therapy, so they're gonna call anytime, set that up because I got I didn't do it. So she said you really need to do your cardio physical therapy, which I agreed to. I said okay, thirty six uh, visits, three times a week. I'll do it. I'll do it. She said, Cindy, you got to exercise your your heart. It's a muscle. I said, okay. Uh, I explained to her because I'd never met her. I told her about my heart monitor. Okay, so I said, can you tell me why I was even put on the heart monitor? Because I did go to P, uh, physical therapy and that first time. And then that's when the doctor ordered it. And so what she said was, she looked it up in my chart. And she said, oh, well. It says right here what happened was the wall of your artery would flatten and then open flatten and did it four times at the end of my cardio uh, exercise so she said it was like it was like a balloon that deflated and then it would inflate inflate deflate and inflate and she said that happens if your heart is beating too fast and I said well <laughs> I said, well, the, um, this was shortly after I was out of the hospital, so um, I think that was too soon they put me into physical therapy, but I explained to her that I quit going because I wasn't about to go wearing that heart monitor because I didn't even know why they put the damn heart monitor on. So I said, you realize that you just now told me why I wore a heart monitor? My doctor didn't say anything. He just said we saw something. We want to just check your heart. Make sure it's okay. Okay. So, just so this won't be too long. Um, uh, when I got home, of course, I told John about it. And... Um, and we were both talking, and um, the doctor basically was telling me that the reason, well, she, she didn't say that that was the reason. She said it could have been. The reason that I had a heart attack was because of all the saturated fat that I ate for eight months on the ketogenic diet. Now... I did not disagree with that because fat is fat. Saturated fat is supposed to be the good fat, but if you eat too much of it, you can eat too much of a good thing, and I probably ate too much saturated fat. Um, so, on the way home, I thought about, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So, I, anyway, I got home. Me and John were talking. And I said, I told him everything that the doctor said. And I said, what am I going to do? What What do I do? I Just give me some feedback because I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around this. I seriously am having a hard time wrapping my head around this because um, there are my doctor's basically telling me uh, to go back to the standard diet and there's foods that I don't care. Uh, I don't know. I still won't eat processed foods and I still... Uh, okay, here's an example. This is what's really messing with my head, okay? The standard... Heart Association Diet and Diabetes Association Diet uh, says that, okay, saturated fat is top of their list of bad things, okay? They recommend, both of them, they recommend margarine over butter. Now, I know, I know for a fact that margarine is not good for anybody. 
It's completely processed, mostly water if you look at the ingredients. Butter is it's animal. Is that mean you know what I mean? <laughs> My mom raised uh, us kids on butter. We didn't have margarine. Uh, I raised my kids on margarine. They're all fat, too. They got fat. So, I mean, that ain't the only reason they got fat. <laughs> but, but I mean, okay, so, so I'm talking to John. I'm, I'm like, well, okay, well, what, what would you do if you were in my shoes? And he said, well, honey, I, I didn't want to say anything to you because, you know, when you make up your mind about something, nobody can say anything. And he said, but I agree with your doctor. I think it's not healthy for you to be on the ketogenic diet because for all you know, I wouldn't. Now, this is my husband talking. He says, if I was in your shoes, I'd be too afraid to eat all that saturated fat and all that cheese and the fatty meats after having a heart attack. And it kind of made me think. And so, uh, the Heart Association says, and the Diabetes Association says to eat lean meat, skinless, boneless meat, uh, the less fat, the better, basically. And so, it's like I, I, uh, I trained myself to to get away from that, train myself to accept the keto, which is high saturated fat, low carb diet. Now I got to go back and do it uh, a, a regular American standard diet again, except, and that's probably what I'm going to end up doing with the exception, I am never touching processed food. I don't care what anybody says. My cardiologist can tell me all he wants that margarine is good for me, and I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna believe it. I won't believe it. It's, it's processed. It is not even real food. Oh my God! It's like eating plastic. Okay, how can that be good for you? Okay, so then, okay, and then on another, another issue or another thing that's bothering me is every. Every person uh, that's on keto that promotes the ketogenic diet, they all say the same thing, that the Heart Association and the Diabetic Association are behind the times and they, even doctors, there's a lot of doctors that will not recommend that diet to their patients because there haven't been enough studies done and my um, cardiologist uh, uh, assistant and told me she said Cindy if you were a normal person even if you were overweight and normal if you had never had a heart attack I would still tell you not to go on a high saturated fat diet that is that is just asking for a heart attack that's asking for a heart attack so, even though it pissed me off, it, it made me think, too. So, I've made all these um, videos about keto and, you know, well, <laughs> that's what I mean. What am, what am I going to do? Uh, this is like, upsets me a lot. But, uh, the bottom line, I guess, is... I've got to think about my heart, and if she says saturated fat is bad for my heart, it's bad for my heart. I'll take her word. She's she's the doctor. So, I'm going to go back to the American Association Diet and the Diabetes Association Diet, even though I'm not diabetic. I don't want to become diabetic again. Uh, the only difference is I, I'm still going to watch my carbs because um, 
carbs are fattening, and I don't want to stay fat the rest of my life. That's not good for my heart either. So, so there's a few things I'm going to go back to eating. Like I'm, I'll eat oatmeal. That's supposed to be heart healthy. You know, keto. You can't have no grains. Can't have no beans or legumes and stuff. So, I sent John to the store. I sent him to the store with a list of stuff. Like lentils, I love lentils, and I'm going to make, um, for supper, I'm going to make enchiladas. And, uh, anyway, so, what do y'all think? I, I'm still tripping, really, that this, uh, visit, oh, it's so weird. So, I guess... As far as I know, I'm going to go off of the keto. I am going to watch. And see, i got to change my strategy. Even though I'm going to watch my carbs, I'm going to have to watch my calories. I'm going to have to watch my portion size. Because if I'm going to go back to eating grains and legumes, which are starches. But it, it, she even told me to eat potatoes. Okay, well, I know those are high in starch and high in um, calories, so I don't know. I just, so, you know, it's a lot to process. So, I just wanted y'all to know that uh, I might be, <laughs> I might be going crazy for the next few days. So, I might stay off of the computer, might not get on, uh, <laughs> except to check to see if anybody's <laughs> watching my video. I'm, I'm always curious about that, but so anyway, I gotta let all this process through my brain, and uh, uh, so anyway, I didn't mean to bring nobody down, but god dang it, I I just uh, nothing goes the way I want it to go, uh, but I. Uh, the bottom line is I want my heart to be healthy and um, I would be stupid to not take the advice of, of my cardiologist, even a cardiologist uh, assistant, because they know about the heart and I did have a heart attack and I want to prevent that from happening again. So... <laughs> <laughs> So I'll let you guys go, and I'll, I'll be okay. I'll be all right. I'm just still processing this crap. Actually, I'm more processing the way that she talked to me more than anything. I, that, I, uh, what a rude, rude doctor. Okay, well, you run into some of those sometimes. But I'll tell you what, I, I held my ground and told her ass a few things too. I didn't just take her shit. And I don't. I am one of those kind of people that, uh, okay, if you want me to do this, you better explain yourself. I question my doctors. I do. There's nothing wrong with that. I quit taking their word for anything. I'm like, okay, you tell me why this is this. You tell me why I got to do this and that. I want answers. I don't want just do this and you follow blindly what your, your doctor tells you. So, okay, I'm done ranting. I'm sorry. So I'll let you go. Uh, I hope y'all have a great day. Uh, I had a great day. I still, I, I'm okay. I'm fine. Uh, I'm just going to try not to stress about any of this and uh, just move on and do the best I can. And I love you guys. And I'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.